Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So I'm super excited. Today I get to show you guys how to make non-slip items. So I know that it's cozy time, it's fall, winter time, so we're making slippers and socks and all, rugs, all different kinds of fun things. And this super easy technique will be able to make all of that non-slip so you're not slip sliding around on your hardwood or tile floors. I'm so excited about this one, so stick with me. I'll be back in just a second and I'll show you how to do that. Hi friends, real quick, if you guys want to find out how to join the coolest crochet community on the internet, make sure you check out the link in the description below and I cannot wait to see you in the community. Okay, so like I said, today I'm going to show you guys how to make things non-slip. So we are in the season of making slippers and socks and fun things like that. This also really works well for rugs. So I just made two little swatches here. They're just little rectangles. This is made with a, a wool acrylic blend, but you can use whatever yarn you're using. Um, I would be very careful with hand dyed yarn, obviously, because once you put this on there, you can't take it back off. It, I mean, it'll, it'll wreck your yarn if you try to pull it off. Um, most of the time so there's a couple different ways that you can do this the two that I use are I get puffy paint so it's just this is just tulip puffy paint um, this is in the color black and it's it's permanent it's machine washable so once it's on there it's good to go and this is what it looks like so I just drew little squiggles on there um, this one I did yesterday because it does take quite a while to dry and on this one it says that you need to leave it for 72 hours before washing it. So you can't wash it for a couple days. But I just drew little squiggles on there. And so this moves around super nice and easy. There's nothing on this one. It just slips and slides. And this one, it's a little bit, you can hear that friction. I mean it still slips, but it's not as bad. Um, so all I did with that and I'll give you guys like a little demonstration as I just took the lid off the puffy paint. And I just drew squiggles. And then when I go back, I just fill in the gaps, that's all. It's not the prettiest. Neither one of these options are very pretty unless you go super duper slow with it. Um, make sure I didn't get any of my hands. But this does, it does peel off. But as you see, it like pulls the fibers with it. So this will come off if you wanted it to. Like if you messed up, and you didn't really care if this was like on the bottom of a rug and you didn't really care and then you decided you wanted to like draw love or a heart or something like that, you can. You can totally peel this off and start over but it does make the yarn really fluffy. Now the other option that I use is I use hot glue. I love this one a thousand times more. There is, I'm pushing really hard, there is no no sliding on the hot glue. Um, you can use regular glue too. I just like the hot glue better. I think it works better. Um, but this is how I do all of mine. So my slippers, my rugs, all of that stuff is done this way. Um, this one is just as easy. You have your swatch, you have your hot glue gun, and you just You just paint it on there just like you did with the puppy paint. Now obviously this doesn't look very pretty, but I mean this is going on the ground. I just know some people don't want to go out and buy a hot glue gun because um, they can be pricey. I think I got mine for like five, ten bucks on Amazon, but that dries much faster. It lasts better and there is no slipping with this one. You can also pull this one off too, but it's gonna grab a whole lot more fibers than just the puppy paint does. So make sure you pay attention when you put it down. It doesn't look as pretty. Obviously it's all blippy. So you might wanna try it a little bit slower, be a little bit more careful, but this will burn the fibers. So don't have the socks on your feet when you're putting this on there, I guess is what I'm saying. And <laughs> be very careful when you put it on there because that is very hot. I've burned myself multiple times with it. 
So this is how I make things non-slip. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave that in the comments below. I hope this helps. Um, some super quick, really affordable ways to make your items non-slip. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.